5192. Want to send me a text? AlanCoxShow.com. Want to watch live? You can do it there. As you know, if you're a uh, listener of this show for any length of time, our Friday program is basically just all preamble to get us to the Bill Squire Friday get down. The last one of the last one of 2023. 2023 as uh, I am out next Friday. And then our last live show of the year will be on the 14th. So we're down to our last eight shows over the next two weeks. And then we'll return live. The first live Friday get down of 2024 will be January the 5th. I will say this. I will be perhaps doing a... Half naked. No, 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 no. I just did the code of conduct thing. Can't be getting naked. Uh, <laughs> I clicked the box. I'll look the other way. Uh, perhaps at my comedy special taping, which is on a Friday, there might be a get down. You have a comedy special taping coming up? God damn it. How do you not know this? Where? <laughs> what a piece of crap friend you are. Where is this? <laughs> it's at the Agora, all December right. 22nd. I talk about it all the time. Wow. I mean, <laughs> I, I sometimes need to have my memory jogged. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. That's great. Who Are there other people with you? Uh, there's a girl... Her name's Mary Santora. Heard She's of her. incredibly funny. I've heard of her. Uh, nice. Sometimes she can be a little testy on the radio. Never, no. Her right. musical taste is not up to snuff, but you her jokes so are wrong. immaculate. Well, she's so. not there to do. She's not there to DJ. No, she's not. She's there to I tell would jokes. Never hire her to DJ. <laughs> a lot of jokes. <laughs> I will always have her there to tell jokes because she's very good at that. So that's the 22nd. The 22nd, BillSquire.com. And I miss a free show, I assume. (laughs) (laughs) No. Oh, all right. Oh, production for uh, comedy special taping is not cheap. But I bet bet the ticket prices are reasonable. There's some, they go from, I think, the cheapest, I think, is $25. What's the most expensive ticket to see Bill Squire on December Uh, 22nd? Let me see. Let me pull up. Your firstborn child. Uh, Because there are resale tickets. The. The most you're going to pay is for oh, the bots $40, all up. Yeah. but then there's some that are being resold for $60. Mm-hmm. $60, $60. So, all right. Most expensive, uh, like, seat that you can buy that's not a resale is 40 And then, Is there a package, like a, a meet and greet, a Bill Squire meet and greet? No, I don't like charge that? for meet and greets. That's part He's of a the man of the price. people. Yeah. Like, that's I will smart. be doing a meet and greet after the show. Like, I'll, I'll have merch. I'll have... Friday get down t shirts for up. sale. Shut up. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I'm very excited about those. And those are a limited quantity. So, uh, there's only three. Those. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hope, hoping I sell out. Uh, but I'm very excited about it. I also have magnets coming. Uh, I have, I had stickers made and they did really well. And I'm pretty much out of those. So I reordered them and they're, now they're magnets and they are. Water, fire, air, and dirt. In magnets. Are they for, do they have the insane clown posse on them? No, they don't. Oh. They are a play off of the Hell is Real billboard, and it just says Bill is Real with the B. On now. the way to Columbus, yeah. yeah. Okay. On the way to Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah. I think we saw those when we were driving to Louisville, and yeah. I, I had forgotten about them, but I yeah. know that's a that's a very well-known reference. So Bill is Real st- uh, magnets will be for sale as well. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, you are real. I am we real. We can see you uh, unequivocally. Hell, of course, is not. But uh, But you are. Bill is real. All right. I'm real as F. How was that country show last night? I can't believe I'm asking, but I know that you, it was the WGAR uh, Hillbilly Jamboree or whatever. Winter Wonder Jam. Winter Winter Wonder Wonder Jam. We took the Christ out of Christmas. Happy holidays. And Um, Lieb Rice was the headliner. Lieb Rice. It was great. It was really fun. Over at Playhouse Square. I cried. At the third song. Is that a weird spot to see a concert? I think I, so. I've never seen a concert at Playhouse Square. This is only Square. the second one I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of stand-up. I've seen some productions. I've never seen a concert there. So I've seen now Lee Bryce, and then the other person I saw there was Joe Bonamassa. Yeah. And he's, like, got an old dad yes. audience, so it makes sense. Blues Rocky type yes. thing, yeah. Um, country concerts indoors in a place as beautiful as the Palace Theater. I don't think makes a whole lot of sense, <laughs> but like, because I'm so I'm so used to being in blossom in the mud and like, and you're drinking in the tailgates beforehand. And I mean, you can't have a Christmas show outside, obviously. But I'm saying it's the first country artist I've ever seen. All I saw Zach Brown band in a an arena once on but, the covers tour. 
No. I'm sorry, that's every tour. The All Covers <laughs> Tour with the Zach Brown Band. Lee hey, Bryce only Alan. did one cover. Hey, here's another one you might know. Who am I kidding? Might. Y'all know this one. <laughs> Lee Bryce only did one cover, and it was of Eli Young Band, so it was another country. I don't artist. know what those words are that are coming out of your mouth. What anyway. Is, what is the Eli Young Band? It's another country band. They have a song called Crazy Well, Girl I assume it's another country band. What is it, the song we know that he covered? Crazy girl, no. don't you know that I love you? Mm-mm. I it's would just, dream It's like a censored crazy bitch. <laughs> um, Y'all crazy bitch. It was great. The show's great. Carletta and Waz looked incredible. Well, Carletta looked amazing. Waz. I saw her dress. She gets hang, gutsied hang up. up. She looked, and she had these yeah. sparkle boots on. She was oh, killing yeah. it. I thought you were about to say she got these big old boobs. No, sparkle <laughs> boots. She does that, too. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah she's a piece. Uh, Waz, I don't think, has ever been to Playhouse Square because mm-hmm. the outfit he chose. Put a sweatshirt. Black pants, mm-hmm. black shirt, mm-hmm. red coat. <laughs> What's the matter with that? Have he's you ever dressed been to like, he's yeah. dressed he's dressed like an exactly usher. Like the ushers. <laughs> oh. The only difference is that I he, did, was, he didn't have a red blazer. Yes, on. yes he oh, did. Oh, he did. So the only difference is he was wearing a black shirt under his black pants and red blazer, and the ushers are were wearing white shirts. And I was like, I, I wish so badly that you had a white shirt on right now. Just old people coming up to him all night asking him to That's take them to see. Like, I'm in seat K to K. He's Michael yeah. at the party. Oh, where he so funny. Dressed, dressed like, like the waitstaff. Yeah. yeah. Um. But I, that's the first time I ever met Waz. We've never really been in the building at the same time, and any uh, like country events I go to. Was usually, it nice? It was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was very kind. His beautiful was wife was it there. a lot of fun? Yeah. Um, but yeah, the concert was fantastic. My best friend Kelsey. Did you say was up? No, he did not. <laughs> Uh, my best friend, no, you should have said that too. Kelsey and I went. We went to dinner beforehand and had some Italian food, and it was great. It was a great night. Is there Italian? There's a Chabreo. Oh, it's right across the street. Not, I thought there was an Olive Garden down here now. No, I wish. Um, right? Because we uh, we'd paid. be so fat. Dude, if there was an, an Italian Olive place Garden, across the street from us here? From Playhouse. It's What's called it called? Chabreo. C I B R E O. Huh. It's good. The food's good. But I've been there. Got, it is good. Yeah. We just got a couple apps. Like, we got um, stuffed peppers, uh, bruschetta, Caesar salad, and mozzarella sticks. We split those. Did you go, hey, let me see at a menu? We did not do that. I'm out of the water. Give me more water. Mm. Although you I, didn't do that? They didn't We're have... going to a show across the street. They didn't have any uh, mocktails or, like, N.A. wine or beer on the menu. So I asked the guy, I was like, can you just make me, I like, anything fruity that just doesn't have liquor? You know, he's like, yeah, I'll make something. And he comes back, and I'm drinking, like, man, this is so good. And my girlfriend, she's got two kids. She tasted it, goes, I think he made you a Shirley Temple. <laughs> like, it's like, what's, like, a pink drink? It's just all she grenadine. Goes, <laughs> she goes, it's, that's just, I think that's just ginger beer and grenadine. And I was mm. like, well, I love it. It's <laughs> our virgin just, sangria. Yeah, right. Delicious. Yeah, the concert was great. The food was great. Got to hang out with my friend. It was uh, it was a really good night. All right. Yeah. No well, good. I'm trying to. Th- I don't. Nothing out of the ordinary. It was really old. I was mean, it I packed out? It was packed. Yeah. Um, I know Playhouse has an older audience, mm-hmm. but I guess I've. I still associate country. Well, that's a, but that's a GAR audience. It's not a Playhouse Square audience. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I still so you're associate. You're expecting it to be more like young, but also I mean, you're getting up there. I'm 34. These were You're like getting up there. silver hairs who sat the whole concert. You know what I mean? Like, I, I Maybe guess, those are people who normally wouldn't have gone, but because it was at Playhouse Square. That's what I'm tickets. thinking. Yeah. That it was like so a like different season clientele. Ticket holders, they're yeah. like, yeah, hey, we got to go to something this month, and I've already seen uh, Christmas Carol. Yeah, some kind of a crossover. Um, but yeah, it was a really good time. Nothing, nothing crazy happened. All right. It was mm. fun. I've okay. seen a couple concerts there. Herb Alpert most recently. That was perfect for Playhouse Square. Mm-hmm. A 90-year-old man, uh, barely able to move around on stage, but mm-hmm. he was great. And then uh, Elvis Costello. And that oh, Elvis Costello. Yeah, yeah, those are, those are like, what you would have. They're perfect for But see, then like, like, like Lee Bryce, has one of his most popular songs is Parking Lot Party, where he's talking about we're drinking in the parking lot before we're going in somewhere. Oh, that's what you know? the song's about? Yeah. That's an outdoor song. <laughs> that's an outdoor song. I would have never known what that song was about. Country if, uh, songs are either I'm drunk outside or I'm in love. Country songs just sound like they were written by autistic people. Like oh, these are the so things. But it's the it's the truth. Like these are the things I like, and if you don't like it, then I don't like you. <laughs> are they? Uh, do they have any songs about being drunk outside and falling in love? Does anybody um, cross those streams? Yeah. In the country genre. Yeah. Like um. I'm sure that there are. Nothing's coming to mind. All right. Oh, I, like, um, I like rivers and trucks. Yeah, mud and on pretty the tires girls. But if you're not a pretty girl, water I don't like by you. Brad Paisley. 
See, this is what tells me that I, because my, my wife likes country music, too. I invited um, her. She said no. Yeah. You know, well, it's a school night. She's got a kid. But um, those are all things that I do like. I like uh, pretty girls. And I do like rivers. Yeah, like getting drunk outside. And I like and getting being drunk in love. outside. Yes, I like all those things. Oh, <laughs> you like being in love? Day. Yes. <laughs> hey, your harassment. You just finished the harassment thing. No, they said that one's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> they gave them special dispensation yeah. to give me a hard time. Alan, this is Rich down in Jacksonville, Florida, listening back to the podcast, and you guys were discussing the Christmas party and them doing shot skis of Jaegers, and you seem really surprised and curious about the situation. How about you attend the Christmas party, and you can find out all these antics firsthand. Hate the show. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye. <laughs> what did I seem confused about? Yeah, like you, you were like me People opening for drunk? Ryan Hamilton. Yeah. You no, no, know. not that. I said I think it's a really bad idea to get drunk with your bosses. Nice. I don't think I wasn't Best confused. I just didn't recall anybody doing Jaeger Shotskis. I can't go. That's the point. I, I can't go to the company Christmas party. Just tell her to reschedule the... your daughter's thing. Yeah, you know she's not the only one in it, right? <laughs> but she's the only one that's got a famous dad. Please. I don't know who these other parents are. There's probably somebody not who... Not on the Alan Cox show. Well, that's neither here nor there. But uh, I don't like to insert myself. I keep to myself. I do my thing. How often I... does your daughter go to your events? That's all yeah. I'm saying. Like she's, you're she always doesn't going show up for and, you. So, yeah. She's never in Lots the live stream and chat. Take, Alan. She was going to come in today, but it didn't work out. So uh, it would have been as timely as today's headlines. Mm -hmm. I've asked her, I said, why don't you ever, that way you can drive daddy home mm -hmm. um, if things go south at his appearance. And she just kind of stares at me. And then, of course, says, why are you like this? Mm -hmm. And uh, I go, I don't know. But uh, yeah. Uh, somebody sent me a letter. Hey, this might be a great job for pound cake. I just found this. It was a posting on the radio station's uh, Facebook page, a station called 95.9 The Ranch. Are you still sending out demos, Cody? No, I haven't finished mine. You haven't finished one. Yeah, he hasn't sent out a demo. I haven't sent out a demo. And this is 95.9 The Ranch in Fort Worth, Texas. You know, that's um, that's part of the Dallas Metroplex there. And Tornado Alley. Well, From you take I this hear. rough with the smooth. Mm -hmm. Opportunity for a full-time on-air host. Uh, Brian sent me this. It would be this would be great for for Cody. Come rediscover the joy of live local radio at one of the most successful, non-traditional, independently owned radio stations. Now that's code for we don't pay anything, mm -hmm. but you'll be in a much bigger market. Where uh, is it? Da well, it's Fort Worth, but that's oh. the Dallas area. Yeah. Dallas Fort Worth is they call it the Metroplex. So it's one big area there. Um, the right candidate for the job wants to be involved. And I think this is why this person said that it's it's just kind of, uh, it's bang on for pound cake because he goes, the uh, right candidate for the job wants to be involved in the community, mm -hmm. understands Texas, red dirt, means a lot of maggot dopes, uh, and Americana Texas. music and our loyal fan base and has the ability to connect with fans on air, online, and on site. Do right. you think what you have, if you think you have what it takes, it's just a standard job posting mm -hmm. for uh, 95 9 The Ranch. You think you could do country radio in the Dallas market? See, I want to do country radio. That would be fun, but I want to use my bitty bitty bum bum theme song. Like, that's what I will come into when my show starts. You don't want to use uh, my truck, my beer, my gun? Say it again. That's your country song. Right. <laughs> bitty Bitty Bum is, I, I think they're going to have something to say about that. But you you want to fish where the fish Texas. are. I know, but Selena was from Texas. She was the queen of, uh, queen of Tejano music. Yeah, they don't care what the geography is. Uh, they're not playing Selena music. Mm. Saying you got to lead with your uh, with the right, right foot. Guns. Yes. My Dude. truck. My yeah. beer, this should lead off guns. your demo, by the way. So they don't know that it's a beer, fake song. Guns, did Lee play this last night? He did not. Mr. Rice. My truck, my beer, my guns. Beer, my guns. What's up, guys? It's Cody Cowboy on 99. Not, or what is it, 99.5? <laughs> I love it. Just sure, keep going. Keep going. Just go with it. All right, guys. So we're going to play some uh, Lee Bryce. We're going to play some... Uh, well, actually, I'll throw some Talina in there. And I'm going to be taking your requests here pretty soon. Uh, so give me a call. 
Cody Cowboy, 99.5. 95.9 The Ranch. 95.9. Wait, what was it? <laughs> 95.9 The Ranch. 95.9 The Ranch. Now you got your audition. Put some, put some hot sauce in there, too. And then play a song. <laughs> what? <laughs> put, some, put some hot sauce in your ranch. That's what I do. Uh, y- you know it's not named after dressing, right? It is now. Ninety-five-nine. <laughs> 95.9. 95.9 Hidden Valley Ranch. The ranch is named Cowboy after Cowboy Cody. Uh, uh, I like it. How they get ranch dressing? It came from someone in the uh, someone in the country stirring something up, and they made a concoction that everyone loved. Not named everyone. Ranch. Not everyone. Right. Yeah, you're right. Right? It's buttermilk, salt, garlic, onion, mustards, herbs, Mayo. Mm-hmm. all stuff. Uh, that you'll find on a real live ranch. I don't know why blue cheese exists. Blue cheese Ugh. is the nastiest. Ah, it's the best. Blue cheese is it's awesome. Disgusting. No, blue it's cheese not. is so oh, no. good. Why? I hate what do you mean why? Because it's delicious. It's what are you talking about? It's disgusting. It has a nasty aftertaste. It has a nasty before taste. <laughs> like it's just the nasty. The consistency. It's I all like bad. It. I, like I, I hate. I hate the times that I've like mistaked blue cheese for ranch. And I mistaken. Like, Mistook. Mistook. Um. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I like I'm when they, I, I like when you get the uh, the steak with the blue cheese. The Dude, oh, it's so good! I'd say twice a year I try blue cheese, and I'm like, maybe this will be the time. And I've had it on everything. I've had it on steaks, salads, burgers. Uh, I've had it on like on Thanksgiving. Um, my sister in law, my brother in law are both really into blue cheese. There's a couple people, so I got a, a small amount of blue cheese. I tried that one. They're like, oh, this one's not that funky. It's kind of creamy. I tried it. I'm like, I want to throw up. I this hated it growing thing. up. And then somewhere along the line in my adulthood, I started loving blue cheese. Nasty. And I'm so thankful that I do. Ranch? Eh, I don't care. You, you, you can have all the ranch. But uh, blue cheese, I'm pretty okay tasty. Not befriending blue cheese people. I think I'm okay with that. Well, I, I imagine that's probably going to be quite a polarizing uh, opinion down there at 95.9 The Ranch. That's So fine. it might be something... But you should absolutely submit something to them and then ask them, how did you name a radio station after salad dressing? And see what they say. we Will do. The guy goes, uh, well, I used to work over at AM 1000 Islands, and uh, we did a lot of different material over there, but I came over here to 95.9 The Ranch. I've never been happier. But Cowboy Cody, was that what you were? You were Cowboy Cody? Cody Cowboy. Cody, Cody Cowboy. Cowboy. Now, why not Cowboy Cody? Why Cody right Cowboy? Because my name comes first. I see. Okay. Listen, Cody Cowboy here. This is how you blaze your own trail. I'm just trying. Brian, who sent that to me, and um, uh, by extension, me, this is how we do it. Or should it be Buffalo Bill Cody? Okay. Okay, so <laughs> Buffalo. You mean like the guy from Silence of the Lambs who tucked mm-hmm. and held the girls in the well? Yes, that one. That's, That's who he wanted. wants to be named after. Uh-huh. Put the ranch in the freaking <laughs> basket. <laughs> <laughs> no, but throw the blue cheese in there. Put the blue cheese in the basket or else it gets the hose again. You can leave the blue cheese down there. That's all I'm going to leave them to eat. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I think there's a lot of different ways that you can take this. A lot of different ways that you can send them a demo and enjoy it from there. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Mister, if you let me go, I won't won't press charges, I promise. Now it places the lotion in the basket. (laughs) Put the free lotion in the basket. I love the Joe Dirt scene so much. (laughs) All right, all right, you broken record. (laughs) See, it's putting the lotion on his skin. (laughs) He's reading.